it's Miss Julie from the Johnsburg Library. So good to see you guys again. Thank you for being here for my virtual Thanksgiving story hour. I love talking about Thanksgiving because it reminds me of all the things that I'm so thankful for. Wait, what's that? Gobble, gobble. Oh my gosh, look, it's my little friend, Tim. Hi, Tim. How are you? You're doing well? I'm so glad to see you, Tim. Say hello to all the children. Yes, look at them all. What? You're thankful too? Should we talk about it? Okay, we're gonna talk about things that make us thankful. Yes, yes, you can go first. You're thankful for the farm? Oh, Tim lives on a farm. You're thankful for all your friends? Are you thankful for your friends? I know I'm thankful for mine. <gasps> that sounds yummy. Tim says he is thankful for all the corn that he eats. Aww, he says he's thankful for being here with us today. Yes, Tim, I'm thankful you're here too. Some things that I'm thankful for is I am thankful that the Johnsburg Library is open again. You guys can come into our building and check out books. We are not closed. You guys can still come in and visit us. Sure, yeah, that's okay. Tim says he'd like to go back by the window right now. Bye-bye, Tim. Yes, so please come into the Johnsburg Library and check out books. I also have something fun that I've started here. Let me show you. These are my book bundles. So I gather up various themes with all different books and materials and you can come and check those out. And you get a free button when you check it out. So please come and see those. I'm also thankful that this past fall, I've been able to do an outside story hour for you guys. And I know some of you visited me here at the library and we read books right out back here. And we sang songs and we did dances. It was wonderful and I thank all of you for being here and for having fun with me and singing and dancing. Um, I'm also thankful for my family and getting together for Thanksgiving, just us. We're gonna have a big meal. Speaking of meals, I am thankful for all the food. And I'm thankful that here at the library, we can do this for you. We can do a story time for you where you can be safe and enjoy the books and the songs that we do here. I thought that we would get ready and get a little bit warmed up with a song and um, then start and read some stories together. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. Here we go. Hello again. We are going to get ourselves warmed up for Thanksgiving Story Hour. So I always like to get you prepared for what we're going to do. So for this particular song, you are going to need your heads. You're going to need your shoulders. You're going to need your wings. Wait, what? You don't have wings? Yes, you do. We're going to pretend we have wings. You're going to need your toes. And you're going to need your eyes and your ears and your beak. Wait, you don't have a beak? Yes, you do. We're going to pretend to have a beak and your nose. Do you have all those things? If not, pause the video, go get them, and meet me back here. Are you ready? Okay, we are going to do head, shoulders, wings, and toes, turkey style. Are you ready? Here we go. Head and shoulders, wings and toes, wings and toes. Head and shoulders, wings and toes, wings and toes. Eyes and ears and beak and nose. Head and shoulders, wings and toes, wings and toes. Okay, that was easy peasy. I want to speed it up. Are you ready? Let's do it a little bit faster. Head and shoulders, wings and toes, wings and toes. Head and shoulders, wings and toes, wings and toes. Eyes and ears and beak and nose. Head and shoulders, wings and toes, wings and toes. All right, pretty good. 
Can you go a little faster? Let's try. Here we go. Head and shoulders, wings and toes, wings and toes. Head and shoulders, wings and toes, wings and toes. Eyes and ears and beak and nose. Head and shoulders, wings and toes, wings and toes. Woo! Good job. Hello again. It is time for our first book. Our first book today is called This is the Turkey. I love to talk about who works on books. You know me. And let's talk about the person who thought up this story and decided to write it down. That would be the author of the book. And the author of this book is Abby Levine. We also have the illustrator or the artist, the person who does the beautiful pictures in a story. And the illustrator for this story is Paige Billen Fry. So I'm going to give a shout out to them. And since it's Thanksgiving, I'm going to thank them. Thank you, Abby. Thank you, Paige, for coming together to make this book called This is the Turkey. Here we go. Let's enjoy. Well, let's look at this. Mom's got the big turkey. It looks like somebody's doing some other cooking there. Ooh, good stuff. Good stuff. All right, here we go. This is a turkey to shout about, and Max is the one who picked it out. This must be Max. This is the pan where it roasts away for the guests who are coming Thanksgiving Day. This is the sister who kneads the bread as dad stirs the cranberries ruby red while the turkey is roasting away for the guests who are coming Thanksgiving Day. This is the uncle with salad greens. This is the aunt with her famous beans, who kisses the sister, admires the bread, and praises the cranberries ruby red, while sniffing the turkey that's roasting away for the guests who are coming Thanksgiving Day. All the people are starting to gather. They're bringing their side dishes and their contributions to the meal. The day is underway. These are the cousins who come to play with Max and his sister Thanksgiving Day. These are the neighbors, their arms piled high with cookies and brownies and pumpkin pie. Mm -mm. I'm excited for pumpkin pie. All right, there are the neighbors bringing all their sweets. This is a turkey to shout about, and soon Max's mother will take it out. This is the broccoli, quite a lot. This is the stuffing, piping hot. These are the cranberries, ruby red. The yams, the gravy, the homemade bread. This is the table, beautifully spread. All right, look at that bird in the oven. Mm -mm -mm. Getting the table all set. The meal is almost ready. I want you to use your spy eyes here. Something's going to happen. This is a turkey to shout about. Crispy and golden. And look what's happening right here. What has happened to mom? Has she tripped on Max? And there goes the turkey! Yikes! It's flying through the air. Oh no! Watch out! Where did that turkey land? Right in the fish aquarium. And look at one of the fishes flying out. Oh no, what will they do if their turkey is in the fish aquarium? Oh, this is the grandma who says, Max, dear, we have all we need because everyone's here. 
This is the grandpa who takes his seat. No turkey? No problem. I'm hungry. Let's eat. There's Grandma soothing Max. There's Grandpa who says, come on. No worries. Let's eat all the other foods. This is the thanks for all that's good, home and family and friends and food. This is the time to pass salad greens, a heaping bowlful of famous beans, bunches of broccoli in a pot, savory stuffing piping hot, oceans of cranberries ruby red, yams and gravy and homemade bread. And after a little time's gone by, cookies and brownies and that pumpkin pie. Wow, look at that table. Everybody coming together to share a wonderful meal. And Max looks pretty happy. These are the games and this is the fun after Thanksgiving dinner is done. Do many of you play games after your Thanksgiving meal? I know many families get together and play games. Yeah, fun, fun day. These are the guests as they go away. This is the end of a happy day. Everybody's full. Everybody's had fun. Even though that turkey ended up in that aquarium, they still may do. This is Max who says, I bet. We had the best Thanksgiving yet. Yay! The end. Tim and I are back together to do a little flannel story with you. This one is very, very well titled. It's called Five Fat Turkeys. And Tim is going to help me remove the turkeys from the board and do some counting and maybe you can count along too. All right, let's first count our turkeys. Ready? Are you ready, Tim? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Five turkeys. All right, are you ready, Tim? Okay, here we go. Five fat turkeys by the barn door. One waddled off. Then there were four, four turkeys. Thank you, Tim, thank you. Four fat turkeys out under the tree. One waddled off and then there were three. One, two, three. Three fat turkeys with nothing to do. One waddled off. And then there were two. All right, one, two. You count two, two, Tim? Okay, me too. Two fat turkeys in the noonday sun. One waddled off. Then there were one. Do you count one? Yeah, good. One fat turkey better run away. Soon will come Thanksgiving Day. Run away, little turkey, run away. Woo! Thank you, Tim. Thank you, friends. All right. With Thanksgiving comes lots and lots of food, usually. We gather around and we eat lots of things. We might have turkey, we might have ham mashed potatoes, corn, green beans, maybe some bread, gravy, cranberries. Oh, all the fixing is so delicious. So because we eat so much food and we become so full, I thought a book to read that would be fun is How Do Dinosaurs Eat Their Food? Since we'll be eating lots of food, let's see how dinosaurs will eat their food. Before we begin our story, let's talk about who worked on this book and created it. We have the person who thought of the story and wrote it down. That is the author of the book. 
Her name is Jane Yolen. We also have the illustrator, the person who drew the great pictures of these dinosaurs. That person is Mark Teague. So I'm going to, again, it's Thanksgiving. I want to give my thanks. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Mark, for your contributions to this book titled, How Do Dinosaurs Eat Their Food? Let's see what we find out from these dinosaurs, how they eat their food, if it's anything like how we eat our food. All right, it looks like we've got some trouble happening here. This dinosaur is tipping the table over. This dinosaur is, I don't know, licking and eating some ice cream, I think. Let's see here. All right, here we go. How does a dinosaur eat all his food? Does he burp? Ooh, does he belch? Or make noises quite rude? Oh, I hope not. Oh, dear. We should not be belching and burping at our Thanksgiving table, right? Does he pick at his cereal, throw down his cup, hoping to make someone else pick it up? Look at this guy. That's not what we do at the table. Send chairs flying and our table turned over. No, no, no. Does he fuss? Does he fidget or squirm in his chair? Oh my. Quite a ruckus going on. Whoa. Do you squirm in your chair? Do you sit nice and still? Does he flip his spaghetti high into the air? Whoa. Goodness gracious, spaghetti everywhere. Mom doesn't look too pleased. Oh dear. Does a dinosaur glare? Well, we don't want to glare at anybody when they're serving us delicious food, do we? Mm -mm. How does a dinosaur eat all his food? Does he spit out his broccoli, partially chewed? Oh dear, I sure hope not. He should eat up all that good broccoli. It's good for his body to grow. Does he bubble his milk? Oh, good gracious. I hope not. You don't bubble your milk, do you? Stick beans up his nose? What? Dinosaur. No beans in your nose. Oh dear. Does he squeeze juicy oranges with his big toes? Oh my gosh. Well, I don't know. There's a lot going on in this book, and I hope we're not acting this way at our Thanksgiving table. No, no. He says, please and thank you. He sits very still. Yay. Good job, dinosaur. He eats all before him with smiles and goodwill. Because he's thankful for the food. Yay. He tries every new thing, at least one small bite. Good job, dinosaur. Even if you're not quite sure, give it a try. You might love it. Yeah. Look at the cats even wondering. Hmm. He makes no loud noises. That isn't polite. Look at that. I think he might even be burping maybe into a napkin. Good job, dinosaur. He 
he never drops anything onto the floor. And after he's finished, he asks for some more. Wow, he's asking for seconds. I know at Thanksgiving dinner, I ask for seconds. The food is so good. Eat up, eat up, little dinosaur. Yum, yum, yum. The end. All right, friends, we are going to finish up this Thanksgiving story hour with a fun song that I dedicate to my special friend, Turkey Tim. This is for you, little Tim. Now, some of you know this song already. Don't tell him, but I've just changed the words so that he feels more special, okay? And you can follow along with me. I think you'll know this song. It's one of my favorites, okay? We're going to do it two times. Here we go. All right, Turkey Tim, this one's for you. All right, here we go. I had a little turkey. I named him Turkey Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He gobbled up all the water. Gobble, 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 gobble. He gobbled up all the soap. Gobble, 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 gobble. Now he's home, sick in bed with bubbles in his throat. Gobble, 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 pop. Gobble, 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 pop. What'd you think, Tim? Should we speed it up and do it one more time for him? Should we make it super fast? I think we can do it. Are you ready? Follow along. Here we go. I had a little turkey. I named him Turkey Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He gobbled up all the water. Gobble, 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 gobble. He gobbled up all the soap. Gobble, 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 gobble. Now he's home, sick in bed with bubbles in his throat. Gobble, 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 pop. Gobble, 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 pop. All right, that was for you, Tim. What? Oh, sure. Turkey Tim would like to say goodbye and thank you for a fun, fun story hour. He really enjoyed being here with you. We loved having you. You have a wonderful Thanksgiving, Turkey Tim. Aw, oh, thank you, I will. Okay, Turkey Tim says, gobble, 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 and he loves you. Thank you, Turkey Tim. All right, friends, thank you so much for being here at the Johnsburg Library with me for a Thanksgiving Story Hour. I want you to think ahead just a little bit into December because we have a lot of programs lined up, virtual programs, that is. We're still not meeting in person, but we're doing it this way to keep you safe. So I want you to visit our website and also our Facebook page. I want you to be aware that we have four special guests coming this December to do a Facebook Live viewing. So um, please come and see. We've got, I believe we have Anna from Frozen. We have Belle. We have Elf on the Shelf. And we also have Elsa. So make sure to come and see that. We will also be doing another virtual story hour just like this, but for Christmas. And then I have planned a Zoom Family Santa bingo program where you can win some gift cards to use this Christmas or to give us gifts. So I hope to see you all there. And thank you again for being here with me for this virtual Thanksgiving story hour. I am very thankful to have you here, and I hope that you had a great time. I look forward to seeing you guys in the future. And remember, the library is open, so please come in and come and see me and check out books and videos and have yourself a good time while you're here. I look forward to seeing you guys. Bye-bye, friends. Bye-bye.